Seventh technique in the sword-on-sword -sword work is Kaishi Min. Uh, it's, a, it's an attack that absorbs the power of his strike and reverses it on him. And so the first element that we take a look at, he's making a basic downward cut, is we want to learn to turn our sword in relation to that and capture the energy of that strike. I recommend doing this with one hand at first, just holding loosely and allowing the sword to fall and rise and get very used to this turning action right here. Now I'm doing it on my own, but basically what we want to do is learn to just capture it from the energy of his strike. So his strike is motivating the action of my return action. Now, we place the second hand involved with it, and it needs to float very loosely and, and easily around the, the end of the hilt, and we have an action that looks like this. We make a little side action, and we're cutting into the side of the head with a lateral step on the outside leg. Good. And the more you can allow this to just naturally float and do its turning action, the better. Very good. Coming back to line at the end of the technique. Here, we withdraw to his eyes. We center and then replace the line, the imbu, creating the line of the kata once again. As we do this in the more dynamic form, it starts to take on a little more life. It's kind of more interesting because it happens on the fly as we're walking in. Good. Very nice. And that's Kaishi Min.